Do women experience hormonal changes during the menstrual cycle? What is the truth about penis size? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Yes, women experience hormonal changes during the menstrual cycle. Estrogen and progesterone levels fluctuate throughout the cycle, affecting sexual desire, vaginal lubrication, and other aspects of sexual response. The truth about penis size is that most individuals fall within an average range. What is more important in sexual relationships is communication, emotional connection, and mutual satisfaction, not penis size. Academic research. The Kama Sutra is a subject of study in academia, where its historical, cultural, and sociological aspects are analyzed to better understand its impact on contemporary society. Addressing female sexuality. Unlike many historical texts on sexuality, the Kama Sutra dedicates significant space to exploring the pleasure and sexual needs of women, making it an important reference for understanding female sexuality today. In some tribes in Africa, such as the Maasai in Kenya and Tanzania, circumcision rituals are practiced as part of male sex education, where young men are initiated into adulthood and taught gender roles and sexual responsibilities. Age and orgasm. As women age, they often find it easier to reach orgasm. This is due to increased knowledge of their bodies and greater confidence in sexual intimacy. Alternative and complementary medicine. Some alternative and complementary therapies, such as acupuncture, herbal therapy, and massage therapy, have been used to treat erectile dysfunction, although the scientific evidence of their effectiveness is limited and variable. Anal muscle exercises. Some people practice exercises to strengthen anal muscles, such as Kegel exercises, to improve comfort and control during anal sex. Anal stimulation. While not all women enjoy anal stimulation, some find pleasure in positions that allow for stimulation of this area, such as the doggy style or spooning position. Anonymous toys. Some stores offer anonymous sex toy purchasing services, where products are shipped in discreet, unmarked packages to ensure customer privacy. Anorgasmia and masturbation. Masturbation can be a safe and effective way to explore individual sexual response and learn which techniques or stimuli are most effective in inducing orgasm in individuals with anorgasmia. Anorgasmia and pain disorders. Some individuals experience pain during sex, which can hinder the ability to reach orgasm. Effectively treating pain disorders can help improve sexual response. Anorgasmia and psychological disorders. Anorgasmia may be associated with psychological disorders such as depression, anxiety, or post-traumatic stress disorder, which can negatively affect sexual function and enjoyment. Anorgasmia and social stigma. Social stigma associated with anorgasmia can make it difficult for people to seek help or support, prolonging emotional suffering and frustration. Antibiotic resistance. Some bacteria that cause STDs, such as gonorrhea, are developing resistance to commonly used antibiotics, making treatment more difficult. Aphrodisiac foods. Throughout history, certain foods have been attributed with the ability to increase sexual desire. Some examples include oysters, chocolate, and asparagus. Although there is no solid scientific evidence supporting these effects, belief in aphrodisiac foods remains common. Association. Between breast size and attractiveness, perceptions of breast attractiveness vary among cultures and individuals. There is no ideal size, and beauty is subjective. Atypical symptoms. Sometimes, STDs can present atypical symptoms that may be confused with other conditions, making accurate diagnosis difficult without specific tests. In indigenous communities in Australia, sex education may be integrated into the teaching of Aboriginal history and culture, transmitting knowledge about sexuality in a contextualized and respectful manner. Authenticity. 
being authentic and showing oneself without pretending to be someone else can be very attractive to many people. Balloon fetishism. Some individuals experience sexual arousal from inflating, touching, caressing, or even popping balloons, finding the sound, tactile sensation, or visual appearance of balloons sexually stimulating. Board games. Board games based on the Kama Sutra have been created, designed for couples who wish to explore their sexuality in a fun and creative way. Body confidence. Feeling confident and comfortable in one's body can greatly impact a woman's willingness to experiment with different sexual positions and embrace her sexuality more fully. Breaking with the traditional model. Open relationships challenge the traditional model of monogamous relationships, offering an alternative for those seeking unconventional forms of intimacy and commitment. Breastfeeding fetishism. Some people experience sexual arousal by observing or participating in breastfeeding during sexual activities. This fetish may be related to maternal connection and intimacy of breastfeeding. Breathing techniques. Synchronized breathing with the partner during foreplay can intensify the emotional and physical connection, creating a more intimate and satisfying sexual experience for both parties. In certain regions of sub-Saharan Africa, non-governmental and community organizations hold initiation ceremonies for young people, during which sexual education, tradition, and rites of passage into adulthood are imparted. Changing norms. Social and cultural norms surrounding open relationships are evolving. What was once considered taboo or unacceptable is now more widely accepted in many communities. Classical music's effect. It has been observed that classical music, particularly Vivaldi's Autumn, can increase sexual arousal. Scientists believe this is due to the rhythm and structure of the music, which may match the rhythm of sexual activity. Underwear fetishism. Some people have a specific fetish for underwear, whether their own or others. The attraction may be related to the sensuality of the garment and the anticipation of what is underneath. Vaginal dilators. Vaginal dilators are toys designed to help women increase vaginal elasticity and flexibility, especially useful after gynecological surgeries or during menopause. Variability in preferences. Masturbation preferences and techniques can vary widely among women, and what works for one may not be effective for another. It's important to experiment and discover what feels best for each individual. Variation in speed and rhythm. Women's preferences for speed and rhythm during sexual activity can vary, from fast and energetic positions to softer, slower ones, depending on their mood and level of arousal. Variety of stimuli. Foreplay can involve a wide range of physical and emotional stimuli, ranging from gentle caresses to seductive words. For many women, emotional and mental stimulation is as important as physical stimulation. Vertical transmission. Some STDs, such as HIV and syphilis, can be transmitted from mother to child during pregnancy, childbirth, or breastfeeding, known as vertical transmission. Virginity. The perception of virginity and its importance varies widely depending on culture and time. In some places, it is highly valued, while in others, it is considered less relevant. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.